And according to the city's own data, Burlington crime numbers are at a five year high. But one local researcher says the city is safer than many people perceive. ABC 22's Josh Morrill spoke with the researcher today and has more about the findings. Well, as we've continued to document, the city of Burlington has seen a significant uptick in gunfire incidents this year, and overall police-related incidents are up as well, the highest in over five years. But I spoke to one UVM student that is determined to prove that those numbers don't tell the whole story. We don't have to accept a certain narrative. You can feel a certain way while also having Burlington still be a safe place. That's Sam Powers, a sophomore at UVM. After peers and neighbors continually expressed concern over the increased gun violence in the Queen City, the Woodstock native collected data about its priority one police incidents. Those include gunfire, theft, and domestic calls. Acting Police Chief John Murad has often used the priority one classification to signify crime rates in Burlington. But Powers says that data has layers. Priority one incidents are kind of made up of a lot of different uh, case types and when you aggregate all of that together, you kind of lose sight of what specifically is happening. After looking at information they found through the Burlington Open Data Portal, Powers concluded that only 28% of the city's priority one incidents in 2022 have had public safety ramifications. That's the lowest percentage since 2011. The police department does use um, a false correlation between between the two to kind of show an increase in priority one incidents with a decrease in and that's an uncritical way to present uh, that information. Many priority one incidents are overdoses, suicides and 911 hangups and Stephanie Seguino, a co-chair of the Burlington Police Commission, says much of that is due to fallout from the pandemic. But she says the concern is still very real and this data could help put the worry into perspective. The community is very concerned about the uptick in gunshots, about the increase in stolen vehicles, larcenies and so forth. And so by disaggregating the data that way, it gives us, in my view, gives us uh, the community a better sense of how dangerous, if you will, the city has become. And she says further social context needs to be brought to the violent incidents in the Queen City. We need as a community to emphasize that many of these problems have a social origin. Seguino also said she thinks an increased number of mental health professionals working with law enforcement could ease the burden on the short-staffed Burlington Police Department. Reporting in Burlington, Josh Moore, Fox 44 News.